In this video, we're going over the first lesson of the new unit, which is solving a linear system by graphing. Now, linear systems should be something you're pretty familiar with because you did work with them in grade nine. Uh, so it's a very common question would be something like you had two linear relationships and then you graph them on the Cartesian plane and you found out where they intersected and then you also interpreted the point of intersection. So that's basically what we're going to do today. So hopefully uh, everything we do in this uh, lesson is pretty uh, familiar. Okay, so we're going to spend the whole unit talking about linear systems. So what is a linear system? We're talking about two or more linear relations considered at the same time. So you can work with three lines at the same time and studying them simultaneously. You can talk about four uh, linear relations at the same time. Now, even though, yes, you can talk about two or uh, sorry, three lines at the same time, four lines at the same time, uh, generally speaking, in this unit, we'll be working with two linear relations at the same time. But that's not to say you can't have more. It's just that the, um, the amount of work does increase when you talk about more linear relations simultaneously. So we're going to keep it at two, but the ideas we have in this unit can be applied even though, uh, even when you have three or four or five linear relations. Okay. So, uh, like I said, we are going to solve a linear system by graphing. What that means is we are trying to find where the lines intersect. Where the lines intersect, that will be the solution to the linear system. Okay, so um, that point where they intersect is called the point of intersection. Now, from last year, there were several ways to, uh, you learned to graph a line. The, one of the ways was uh, over here graphing lines by finding the x and y intercepts. So if you remember when you were graphing a line from last year, you all you need were two points. It doesn't matter what two points of the line they were. Uh, you just need two points. Uh, once you have them, you connect the dots and then you're good. Okay, so uh, or two special points on, on the lines, which were the x and y intercepts. Uh, the x intercept is where the line crosses the x axis and the y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. Um, and to solve for an x-intercept, because it's on the x-axis, we're going to let y equal zero. To solve for a y-intercept, we let x equal zero, okay? So this is the first way um, we're going to graph the lines. This might not be the fastest way, but I just want to refresh your memory on how to solve for intercepts. So we have two lines here, two x plus three y equals six, and x plus two y equals two. So, you know what, let's work with 2x plus 3y equals 6 first, okay? So the x-intercept of this line, we're going to say let y equal 0. Let y equal 0 to find the x-intercept. So it'll be 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. So you get 2x equals 6 because 3 times 0 is 0. So x equals 3. And therefore, the x-intercept of this line is 3. Beautiful. What about the y-intercept? So the y-intercept, it's where it crosses the y-axis, so we are going to let x equal 0. Okay, so 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 6, so that means 3y equals 6, divide both sides by 3, so y equals 2. So that means the y-intercept, because the solution is y equals 2 and x equals 0, that means the y-intercept is 2. All right, so this is sufficient information to graph the line 2x plus 3y equals 6, okay? But because I'm trying to find where these two lines intersect, guess what? I'm also going to find the intercepts of the line x plus 2y equals 2, all right? I can only graph one line at the moment, so I'm going to find the intercepts of my other line, let y equals 0 to find the x-intercept. So it'd be x plus 2 times 0 equals 2. So you're, stuck. you're left with x equals 2. Therefore, x-intercept is 2. Okay, we're going to find the y-intercept. Let x equals 0. 0 plus 2y equals 2, so 2y equals 2, divide both sides by 2, y equals 1. So the y-intercept is 1. 
All right, so we have the x and y intercepts of both lines. I am going to graph them uh, on the, the grid right here. Okay, so let's do a scale first. We have one, one. Um, just be very careful because I actually graphed it and it didn't look very nice because when you graph a line with just two points, uh, you have to be very, very careful because it's hard to graph uh, a very, very accurate line uh, using just two points and if the line isn't very accurate you won't be able to find the point at intersection correctly so uh, be careful so i'm going to try to graph the first line of 2x plus 3y equals 6 so x intercept is 3 and the y intercept is 2 okay and then the other you know i'm trying to I'll graph this line so be very careful i'm gonna cheat a little because I actually have this, I have the slope of the line. To go from this point to this point, it's down two, three to the right. So I'm gonna cheat and plot that point. I really want some extra points. Two points is, is uh, very difficult to graph a nice accurate line. That is much prettier. Okay, the other one, the other line has a X intercept of two and a Y intercept of one. Like I, like I did last, I'm going to give myself a few more points uh, just to make my life a little easier. Okay, I'm going to label the lines because uh, it is confusing. One might ask which one is which. So 2x plus 3y equals 6. And this one is x plus 2y equals 2. All right. So hopefully you can tell yourself what the solution or what the point of intersection is. What's a, and that also corresponds to solution to the linear system. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, negative 2. Okay. So therefore, the point of intersection is... 6, negative 2. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go over the, the solution here. You know what? I am never all that comfortable solving a system graphically because um, I just get a little nervous. Now, I'm very, very confident in this case because I actually cheated and gave myself a few extra points, not just the X and Y intercept. But you know what? If you feel uncomfortable or uncertain on a quiz or a test, what you can do is check whether this solution is correct. Okay. So what does it mean to be a solution of a linear system? A solution to the linear system means that it's a solution to each equation that makes up the system. A solution to the system must be a solution to each and every equation that makes up the system. So I have two equations that make up the system. If I can prove that 6, negative 2 is a solution to both of these equations, because these two equations make up the system, then I've proven that 6, negative 2 is all solution to the system. So you know what? Last year, you checked whether uh, a point was on the Okay, you can check that by subbing, uh, subbing in the point and check if left side equals right side. So we're going to do that, okay? We're going to check if left side equals right side using a left side, right side table. So I'm going to do a check here. So if you're ever uncomfortable, you can check your solution to your linear system. So we have a left side, right side check. So the equation is 2x plus 3y. That's your left side. 6 is the right side. Okay, so the solution was 6, negative 2. So 6 for x, negative 2 for y. So 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 12 minus 6, 6. Beautiful. Okay, now is that conclusive enough for us to say that uh, 6, negative 2 is a solution to the linear system? Not yet. This quite simply proves that 6, negative 2 is on one of my lines. Okay, it doesn't prove that it's on both of my lines. Okay, and that what that's what you need um, when you're talking about a point of intersection. You need the point on both the lines, not just one line, on both lines. And if there are three lines, guess what? You have to prove that it's on all three lines. So 
checking with just one of the equations is, is uh, definitely not conclusive to prove that it's a solution to the system. So you know what, we're going to do one more left side, right side table. Not that bad, you did this math last year. So x plus 2y, and there's a 2 over here, so x is 6 and y is negative 2. So that's going to be 6 minus 4. Hey, what do you know? So left side goes right side, left side goes right side, beautiful. So what we're going to say is since 6, negative 2 is a solution to all the equations that make up linear system therefore 6 negative 2 is solution to linear system you can also say 6 negative 2 is the point of intersection okay so moving forward you can always apply this check okay you can always check if you have the correct solution to the linear system but please don't make the mistake with just with just checking with one of the equations because that doesn't tell you anything i mean i guess it tells you it's satisfying at least parsh partially uh, uh, of that linear system but that's not the goal if you want to prove that you truly have the correct solution to the system you have to check with every single equation okay all right so when we were solving this system by graphing you were probably thinking this is a this x and y intercept method of graphing is horrible uh, the other method of graphing that you learned last year was uh, using the slope and using the y-intercept okay um, so just in case you forgot we have y equals mx plus b that's the equation of the line in slope intercept form and this was probably your favorite because it gave you so much information about the line it gave you the y-intercept we are across the y-axis it gave you the slope of the line so graphing from that was pretty straightforward so i'm gonna graph uh, y equals 3x minus 6 really quickly here give yourself a scale x and y so negative 6 is the y-intercept 2 4 6 and now the slope is 3 so i'm going 3 up rise of 3 run of 1 right because 3 is 3 over 1 right so rise of 3 a run of 1 rise 3 1 and this time i'll give myself many many points okay let's connect those dots beautiful okay you can label this if you want. Y was 3x minus. You can label it now or later. Uh, and then the next line, we have a y intercept of 2. Okay, y goes x plus 2. And the coefficient of x is 1, so the slope is 1. It means 1 up, 1 over. 1 up, 1 to the right, 1 up, 1 to the right. Beautiful. And this one's y equals x plus 2. What is the point of intersection? So let's see here. What's the point of intersection? 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 2, 4, 6, 4, 6. So 4, 6 is a solution to the linear system. So in this lesson, we are solving it graphically. Okay, um, I won't say whether this is a, a good method or not. I will say this is the we're solving this graphically, um, but there are going to be uh, other techniques which we're going to learn later on in this uh, unit. So this whole unit is about solving linear systems, and this is the first way of solving a linear system: solving it gra graphically by graphing the two lines, or three lines, or however many lines, and finding out where they intersect. And uh, we said we can graph the line using uh, the intercepts, uh, solving for the x-intercept and the y-intercept, or we can uh, solve for, or sorry, graph the line by um, finding the slope and the y-intercept. Now that's really easy if it's already given to you in slope-intercept form. Now if it's not given to you in slope-intercept form, like in the first example, like uh, 2x plus 3y equals 6, you have to rearrange this equation. 
Okay, so I'll just quickly rearrange if you want. 3y equals negative 2x plus, divide both sides by 3, negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Okay, so the slope for this line is negative 2 thirds and the y intercept is 2. So personally, instead of finding the intercepts, what I would have done was just convert this into slope intercept form. But it, like to me, the, by the time I find one of the one of the intercepts, I've already converted this to slope intercept form. Okay, but the only reason why I brought this method up is because later on you will be uh, required to solve for the intercepts, and in, like um, I guess in the third or fourth unit, you'll be need to you'll need to be able to solve for the intercepts. So it's a good reminder um, on how to find the intercepts because this is a very important. Uh, part of your algebraic tool set that you'll need for later on anyways. Okay, so we solve this linear system by graphing and there are multiple ways of graphing. Now, lastly, I want to mention, were there any problems when you're trying to solve or trying to find the solution by graphing? Now, there might be a lot of issues you, you can come up with. Uh, I can say one of the issues at the very least um, this is a minor issue, but um, it's hard to find the solution graphically because if this point was very far off the grid, it'd be hard to locate, okay? Because this point could have easily fallen off this grid. That's one issue you might have, might have thought of, but I would argue the big problem, okay? The very big, I can live with the other issue because I can, I can get more graph paper or something. I can solve that problem. But the big issue is the accuracy of this method, okay? When we ask you to solve a linear system by graphing, every time we, we, that we ask you to find a point of intersection, it's always where the grid lines intersect, okay? I can't have a class of 30 students and 30 different answers. I have to give you a point where the grid lines intersect. Because if it's not where the grid lines intersect, I'm going to have potentially 30 different answers and I won't blame anyone. Okay, so that is a big problem. Were there any problems when you're trying to find the solution by graphing? Yes. If the, uh, you can say point of intersection if you want. If the point of intersection, oh my goodness, is not where the grid lines intersect, we will have to estimate the point, okay? And if I'm interested in an exact solution, um, solving by graphing is, is a problem. Okay, so I'd say that's the main drawback when you solve a linear system by graphing. I also find this technique uh, more time consuming than the other techniques I'm going to teach you uh, in this unit. But the biggest problem to me has to do with the, the accuracy of this technique. Okay, so hopefully you can now solve a linear system by graphing. You can check whether your solution is correct and uh, you remember you remind yourself how to graph a line using two different ways using the intercepts and using uh, the slope and inter y intercept